Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Well, boy, Naoya Inui. Why he stops your boy Stephen Fulton in round eight. Nice overhand right, followed by a nice left hook. And then had my man Stephen Fulton hurt. And uh, Stephen Fulton evaded a lot of punches, but uh, after a whole a long flurry combinations, a few of them got through, had stopped the fight round eight. So uh, Naoya Inui has pretty much stamped his, his, uh, his pass for that pound for pound top two. Right, that's what's gonna happen. So the, the loser of Spence and uh and Crawford gonna have to go down to four or five or something, cause that's what's gonna happen here. Because um, what I liked about Naoya Inui in this fight was he was able to on the stage to show some distance, right? To show his talent level. You know, you you got a guy like Stephen Fulton who, if you weren't paying a real good attention, didn't realize how good Stephen Fulton was actually fighting. He was really making him miss a lot of things. I was just thinking, you know, normally a guy that missed that much, Inui is just not one of those guys that's just going to tire out, though. You know, so you got to do that the whole time. Normally you can make him miss a few, around eight or nine, and then, you you know, he's tired and you got him. I didn't think that was going to be the case, but it was still great defense from Fulton the whole time, right? But uh, those first three rounds... He was just being outworked, Stephen Fulton. Right? He, the aggressive was, he was Inouye, and Inouye was letting them hands go and from a lot of angles, a lot of positions, and just letting them go. And so when you're playing that much defense, you're going to get behind. Um, he was just being outworked, right? So um, I didn't give uh, Fulton actually a round. I gave him a tie round in round five, four or five. I gave him a, a, a draw. But in round six and seven, I did see him coming on, right, coming on. And figuring things out and landing some good punches on Inui, right? And it was getting very interesting, six and seven right there, right? I even gave both of those rounds to Fulton, even though they were still close, but I saw the work. And if you see the defense plus the offensive work of Stephen Fulton, you're going to be like, oh, it's great. But through this whole time, Naoi Inui was looking great. Uh, matter of fact, in round two and stuff, he started kind of clowning and having a good time. You saw speed. You saw power, you saw endurance, you saw swagger, right? I think he knew it was a little bit faster than Fulton. That's why he was able to land a jab, land a lot of jabs to the body, setting things up, a lot of jabs to the body. But um, Fulton was doing a lot of great defensive work, actually. This fight was going to probably, if it didn't stop here, it was going to probably get a little bit more interesting, right? It was going to get a little bit more interesting. But when you're talking about Going to another point is this pound for pound thing. You know, you like to see distance, right? That's why Canelo is not a pound for pound for me, right? Because there's not that distance in, in his fights. And, and fights like this fight wouldn't have been made with a person like that, for example. Both of these guys wanted this fight. He knew he was able to show some distance with him and Fulton. And right, when you really look at it, you're going to be, there's not much distance in there because Fulton was doing handling his business too. But it's distance. A TKO, round eight. That's distance. That's that's pound for pound stuff, and that's the same thing. Um, what I always say about Terence Crawford. There's not a fight on his resume that he has to readdress. You know, like man, you almost lost this one. Why you didn't give him a rematch? Ain't none of that, is it? Some distance. That's why he's there. Even though you went up three weight divisions, and here he's went up four weight divisions, albeit in the lower weight classes. It's a little bit easier to do. I mean, see that you have four weight division champions, and Nonito Denaire is one, and uh, Leo Santa Cruz is another one. Good fighters, great fighters, but you know, not like all time greats. I mean, they were able to go up four divisions. So what I'm saying is, it's probably not that that hard down there, but it is hard enough. And Naoi Inui uh, took on the hardest challenge. Right, looking at the WBWS tournament, make sure everybody's in that tournament in that one division, 118, to make sure I get everybody. There ain't nobody out there screaming, you knew he come back because you didn't fight me first. Same thing I say about Terrence Crawford. Ain't nobody said, talking about, you know, come back to 140 because I want want to fight you, or 135. They didn't. Same thing with Inouye, right? So, but I'm going to go to this next division, and I'm looking for who's supposed to be the baddest. Same thing with Terrence Crawford. I'm going up to the 147. Look for who's supposed to be the baddest. 
distance. Those are the pound for pounds. That's what's good to see. I think everybody who, who doubting a newie will see now what you know that you see that talent. You, you can't ignore it. That boy's talented and got some some stuff in them hands, okay? And he lets them hands go and he got some swagger. So uh right now we'll see. You know, he's like one B pound for pound. We're gonna see how this other fight plays out. Cause the winner of that fight is also gonna be uh, you know, we're gonna be talking. We got about another four days for that one. But this was a good fight. I'm glad I, I checked it out. And uh yeah, Inui won the fight, pretty much dominated the fight, pretty much. And um, there's no doubts here, right? This guy's up there pound for pound, bro. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.